Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control. And today I want to talk about property managers, landlords, hotel personnel, and tenants. Um, basically, we're going to talk about cockroaches and bed bugs and infestations that come with living on, uh, you know, in somebody else's home, basically, or renting out your home to someone else. Um, Today, I, I want to talk about cheap exterminators. One of the biggest things about property managers and that people just don't realize is that a lot of times, even though the pest control typically has begun to be offered as part of your rent agreement, um, and let me explain. In the world we live in, we've become a lot more knowledgeable about the problems that bugs bring, the health concerns with rodents, uh, like rats, mice, cockroaches with asthma, um, all kinds of different problems can come from, uh, you know, having bugs living in and around your family and your friends uh, in your home. And not only that, I mean, restaurants have had to have health, inspector, health, health inspections, they have to have pest control, and so that's moving more into the uh, living situation as well with landlords, property managers, because people have started to develop problems with bed bugs and cockroaches and things have been spread around so bad that uh, tenants have started to um, sue and win lawsuits against landlords for uh, poor property managing. Um, so basically, it's, it's, you know, it's in your best interest as a landlord to have pest control, to have that piece of paper that says, yes, I have regular pest control. My pest control technician comes out once a month or my pest control technician comes out by monthly or quarterly or whatever it is kind of agreement you have with the company that you work with. Um, that is important. But what we're going to talk about today is cheap prices. And just because you have that piece of paper doesn't mean you're getting what you pay for. Uh, you could be getting a lot more trouble than you bargain for and basically it works like when you've got let me give let me tell you a story i have started looking for a house myself um we've been going around looking for a place to live we've been trying to do all the house hunting and stuff with homes uh considering maybe building a house or maybe even renting for a couple years then maybe building a house um, we've talked to, honestly, I can't tell you how many people we've talked to, probably 10 to 15, 20 different people. We've talked to different locations about different price ranges, different things we're looking to do, uh, several different real estate agents. Um, just, you know, it's a big ordeal when you're trying to move a whole family. And I go to these property managers around Lynchburg, Virginia, which is where we're considering living somewhere between Lynchburg and Charlottesville, somewhere around that area. And because that's where I do a majority of my work. And so uh, as I'm talking to the property managers and I'm asking them about pest control, because a lot of them have it written, written into their lease agreements. Um, I'm like, well, who do you have as pest control? And they're like, well, we have this company. And every single property manager is using the exact same company. It's a pretty big company. Um, and the problem is, is that I was hired by one of these property managers in order to take care of a bed bug problem, even though they had a regular pest control technician coming in, spraying the apartment every, every other month. They, they have a, a, so six months out of the year, pest control's taking care of in the apartment complex. Um, now, the, now it's not just a, it's the worst bed bug job I have ever done in Lynchburg. The bed rails were so full of bed bugs, you could scoop them up with like a play shovel, like a child's play shovel, and go back for more. There were thousands of bed bugs, thousands, 
there were so many bed bugs. I actually took some home. I had to walk naked down the basement steps and throw my clothes in the washing machine because I had them on my clothes. It's the only time I've ever taken bed bugs home with me was when I was doing this apartment. All right, it is awful. <clears throat> Now, I understand that you can't control bed bugs as a pest control technician. You can't control your customers. You don't know if they're going to bring what they're going to bring in the house. You don't know their family. You don't know what kind of friends they have. But the point is, is that if you've got regular pest control, there should have been a reduction of numbers. There should have been some dead ones. There were there were so many bed bugs. I really cannot. There are pictures on my Instagram. Uh, Go and look for yourself. It, the bed rails are there, pictures of them. You can see them. Um, and you'll understand why I get so irritated because I actually told the lady that I, I would match the price. I didn't even know what they charged to do it. I said, I'll match the price just so I know that they're getting a decent job. I said, you know, I give away bed bug treatments for free, very low cost or free. Um, I've done free work. You can't get any cheaper than free. Just because it's cheap doesn't mean it's good. You know, typically a cheap job is pretty poorly done. But I, uh, I hold myself at a higher standard. I give somebody the best job no matter what they pay. I always do the best job that I could possibly do for them. And I get rid of the bed bugs too. So the point is, is that they still didn't hire me. They were perfectly happy continuing to pay on the same that they've been paying and uh, it's not like I'm not licensed and insured I definitely am with well over the amount of insurance needed to work for them but uh you know like I said they got this big box company coming out spraying every month and that's what they want that's what they like that's what they want um now you have to realize as a landlord that's not always what you want and the reason I say this is because let me give another example cheap exterminator in town this is a different company um went in to do a mouse clean out for a lady took tracking powder and spread it all over uh there was it on a handrail it was on a uh a sealed joist down like where as you walk down the basement steps it was on the wall there uh, where easily a child that walks down the steps is going to grab and reach there and rub it all over their hands. My daughter is five years old, and I can't get her not to keep her hands to herself. Children will touch everything. They will rub their hands on every surface. And the fact that they had tracking powder... Now, to, to those that don't understand, tracking powder is typically a restricted-use rodenticide. It's extremely strong. The way it works is you're supposed to dust inside the burrow of a rat or a mouse underground and then seal the burrow up so that when the mouse runs past the dust, they pick it up on their feet and when they're grooming themselves, they lick it off and it kills them. It kills them dead. They get just a little lick. That's all it takes and it will kill them. It's very toxic. And the fact that this stuff was spread all over handrails and places where anybody could touch it, anybody could touch it, is just beyond me. I can't, I can't understand. But they're cheap. They're cheap exterminator. They don't know what they're doing. Not properly trained. That's what you get when you hire shoddy exterminators. You know, they're, they're doing, they don't know what they're doing. They haven't been experienced. They're not in it for very long. And they just go in. And I understand I'm hanging my own noose because I do a lot of cheap work, but it, <laughs> I'm also teleling you about it too. So cheap as in price, I'm right? cheap as in price, not cheap as in labor. You know, I don't. I know what I'm willing to do for the money, and there are some jobs I'm probably more expensive than the competition. But you know, I've been doing this for 30 years. I got a lot of experience. That's what you buy when you pay for me. You know, you get experience. Uh, I know my bed bug jobs are pretty cheap, but, uh, you know, I do other things too. I make up the difference. It's not a big deal, but, um, I'm making a living. I'm feeding my family, my children. So, which is all, also, that's what I'm doing today. I'm actually riding around. My wife is driving today so I could film and, and talk to you guys for a little bit. But, uh, anyway, the, the point is, is that 
if a person comes in, now you've hired them, you're the landlord, you hired an exterminator, they come in, they're cheap, they don't know what they're doing. They come in and they poison somebody's pet. Or uh, what's worse, they poison somebody's child. And now you got, you're going to be at fault. It's you, you're the one. It's, uh, it, you could still get in trouble, even though the, you know, they're the ones that are supposed to be licensed and insured. Are you sure they're licensed? Are you sure they're insured? You're still the one that paid for them to come in and do the work. So understand that, you know, you may still be at fault. It depends on the lawyer. Uh, if they get a real good lawyer or not, you know, you may end up having to pay a whole lot more than it would have been just to get a better exterminator for a few more dollars. Um, with these apartment complexes, a lot of times with these apartment complexes, too, the, uh, the kind of work that you pay for um, is is really only difference in like nickels and dimes. I mean, honestly, because the way that you price an apartment complex, like let's say there's 80 units and you're doing them for maybe $5 a unit. Uh, the competition might be doing them for $4.50 a unit or $4 a unit. So really, when you look at it that way, you're devaluing the comfort of your tenant by a quarter so basically you're saying a gumball is worth more than your tenant's comfort um you know that's that's crazy that doesn't make any sense to me if your dog gets sick you take them to the vet you know we're at the vet right now getting my dog you know the point is is that you take care of your animal because they're sick and then you're going to take and 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 argue over 50 cents because your dog I mean, you're going to take care of your dog and you're putting a tenant underneath even an animal. That just doesn't seem right to me. That just doesn't seem right. We got to take care of one another. You know, we're we're all in this together. There's no reason you know, you, you can still make a living without a couple quarters. You know, the point is is that people are so obsessed over their bottom line that they and this is why the bed bugs have become such an epidemic. You know, people are wanting the cheapest job. People are not willing to pay for the job that needs to be done. They they want to get really cheap, shoddy work. They don't care about anybody but their bottom line, about the almighty dollar, and that's just not the right way to be. And so hopefully I have shed some light on the problem, the epidemic that is bed bugs and why they're such a problem. And uh, also with cockroaches, too, they're the same thing. You know, the cockroaches and bed bugs are spread the same way by us, people, people taking them around. If you can't get rid of the bugs, the bugs are going to follow you everywhere. So uh, understand this, and hopefully this has helped you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. I know it's a little different than what I normally do. I've been up on a soapbox. It's been kind of irritating me with all the house hunting I'm doing and realizing that exactly what's going on around us uh try to take care of one another and uh i'll see you guys later also thank you jabron my one and only patreon uh i have a patreon service where people can donate money i take the money i put it towards needy families in virginia and i try to give them pest control at very cheap affordable prices better than what the competition could even afford to do and that way i know the job is done right i can get in there and i can take care of them and make sure they don't have any bugs you guys have a really great day i really appreciate it check the links in the description below all my social media facebook everything like that if you want to send me a message i'm always open any advice you want to give me any questions that you have don't hesitate i'm not shy i like to answer your questions i like to talk to you, you guys have a really great day and i appreciate it thanks